Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not seen yesterday's video, make sure you go check it out because we unbox all of the uh, starter kits, hashtag rookie gang and all, but we unbox the Zamazenta edition. Today, we are unboxing the Zassian edition. So yeah, pretty much they're exactly the same boxes, like nothing changes too much besides the jumbo V card that you want to get. Then also, as you guys may remember from yesterday, the promo cards are like different as well. You could either get the first official actual promo card, or it could be a card out the future TCG that doesn't come out till February. So yeah, when you're in store and you're like buying these boxes, keep a like look out for those. It depends whether you want either the Zamazenta or the Zassian V card, and if you want the official like sort of Grookey promo card, or you want the Grookey from the set coming out later in the year. Um, there are all sorts of things you gotta consider, or you could just pull an Ando and buy six of them all in the different editions. So there's Swabble as well. It's really cool, but they're very, very similar, pretty much exactly the same. I'm really curious though if they've got the same pulls because yesterday's video was off the flipping charts. We got nuts. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to unbox all of these. I want to have a look at what the Zassian V card looks like, especially when you put it with the Zamazenta one. Then we'll have a look at the promos, the pins, and then the boosters. Let's do it. Zamazenta or Zassian? That is the question everybody's going to be asking you. Like, which one did you pick up? Which uh, box do you like better? Which promo card are you going to find cooler? The V cards especially. Definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. As far as attacks though, this one has got Brave Blade, which has, I think it's 100. Yeah, it's literally 100 more damage than uh, Zamazenta down there. But everything else is pretty much, yeah, roughly the same. Besides the attack changing and obviously different Pokemon, the cards look very similar. So if I was to compare both of them right here, which one do you like better? This one's more crazy, I guess, with the artwork. It's like everything's happening on the one card. This one's just majestic and like, I'm going to absolutely fight you to doom. So definitely let me know which one do you like more. I don't know. I want to say Zassian because that's the edition I'm playing through. But this one's really cool and I love the colors. So a really nice like sneak peek right there. Speaking of sneak peeks, speaking of stuff we shouldn't be looking at just yet. When you buy these boxes, you get promo cards, and you also get the three starters in the actual TCG. So this is number 31 out of 202. So this is actually going to be a card or a holo card in the set coming up. So we got a Score Bunny, then we got a Black Star promo. So this is the first ever Sword and Shield promo rookie that ever released ever. Got it in our collection now. And then Sobble. This is actually in the TCG. So Sobble, it always looks kind of sad. Also take note, the brand new holo pattern. But basically, it's everything we saw yesterday in the uh, Zamazenta boxes. Nothing's changed too much. I love, though, this Black Star Score Bunny. Oh, dude, they nailed it. It looks so cute and, like, kind of, you know, menacing for as little tiny bunny as he can be. Then we got Sobble doubled up there. And Grookey. This is number 11 out of 202. I was going to say number 1. It's number 11. Which one do you like better? Do you like the promo version of Grookey or the actual card version of Grookey? Then we got Promo Sobble. Then we got another Grookey exactly the same and Score Bunny. This one's the actual one in the TCG. So yeah, that's your first look at Sword and Shield uh, Pokemon cards right there. Really curious if you love it or hate it because I feel like that's what the internet feels at the moment. They either absolutely hate V cards or like, what's that? What the flip is a V card? Bring back the GXs or they're like, oh heck yeah. Something brand new, something I haven't seen before. So we got... Sobble right there, but then we got Score Bunny as well, really, really cute. These pins are adorable, and Grookey, probably my favorite pin, which is pretty rare because I really love Score Bunny in most things. But let's get into these boost packs. Let's hope we get some fantastic pulls because if yesterday's video is anything to go by, oh mama, I think what they did, they stacked these boosters in like uh, our favor because they're trying to promote the Sword and Shield TCG. They want everyone to collect it. They're trying to bring it back in like a massive way. So they're like sort of filling these boxes with better than average booster packs. Or I hope that's the case at least. We'll uh, try to confirm it today's video by getting a regular rare Entei. Nah, it, it sort of wasn't too bad. You get like one or two dud boosters. Or there was one case where I think we got two dud boosters out of one box and that was the worst. The other two had stuff in there. Which is really odd. And the selection of boosters is fantastic. Like you're getting a brand new Cosmic Eclipse. You get two of those. Then you get an Evolution. So a potential reprint base at Charizard. Oh, regular Genesect. Then you also get Unbroken Bonds. And that is like the greatest cross-section of Pokemon cards anyone could ever collect. Like I was saying yesterday as well. These make for fantastic Christmas presents. 
I feel like, is that, yeah, that was an X and Y, we're good. Make sure, because with X and Y, it's three from the back, and then Sun and Moon, it's four. You can easily stuff it up like I did. All right, so we're going to Dealing. Then you got Scoutland Reverse. Holy smokes. This is the last booster out of the first box. So I presume this one should have something inside of it. Otherwise, we've got our first ever dud Sword and Shield box, which I didn't think would happen. Oh, I did it again. No way. This is a regular Electro. I was just talking about how you can't do four from the back on every booster. I'm too busy talking. Then we got Growlithe, Nidoran, Volpix, Zantru, Brock's Grip Reverse. Wow. Maybe it's the, you know what? I don't want to jinx it, maybe the Zassians, because they're probably going to be a bit more popular, they're going to get bad pulls, and the Zamazentas, they're going to be the box with the better pulls. I mean, that's, oh gosh, if they've done that, to promote maybe more Pokemon Sword, or less Pokemon Sword buys, and more Pokemon Shield buys, that would be fascinating. <laughs> wow, maybe we've uncovered something. Okay, fighting type, let's do another box, let's see what these pulls are like. Cosmog, Psyduck. Trap Inch as well, Oddish. Not even too bad, Flygon GX right there. Flygon's an absolute baller, and it's one of those newer GX cards everyone kind of wants right now. Desert Hurricane, 120 plus. Sonic Edge with 220 as well. These cards are crazy. All right, Cosmic GX right there. Flygon as well, that's pretty good. I still don't have Shiny Flygon in Pokemon Go. I missed the Trap Inch Community Day, and I'm still devastated. Okay, this is Unbroken Bonds, I'm pretty sure, was it? Yeah, Unbroken Bonds, we're good. Four from the back, let's get a Rainbow Road Charizard time. Tyrogue, Stealthy Hoodie. Okay, let's keep going. Cotney, Venonat, Meowth, Seeking. Wow. Regular Rare Tangrowth. Who just should be called Snorlax at this point, because he's always sleeping. One more Cosmic, then we hit good old Evolutions Town. Oh no, I think this one's a um, regular green. Although there's... Still a chance we can get a reverse full art. That's kind of what I want. We've still got a bunch I don't have. Pikachu right there. Stuffle. Then another. Oh my. Hashtag Illuminati confirmed. And a regular rare. Wow. Zassian boxes are really going to do it to me, aren't they? This is fascinating. Zamazenta might be your better option, guys. Go get one of those. So we got a super potion right now. Brock's Grit again. Sandshash. Good Diglett, Seal, Nidoran, Pikachu Reverse. There we go! Hollow Marchamp right there. So that was a bit of a better box. We had a Hollow Marchamp and a Flygon GX. Yeah, it's pretty good. Nothing insane. Nothing ridiculous like yesterday still though. Two poles. That's 50%. Good rate. Let's do the very last box right now. Cosmic time. Yeah, maybe they did do that. Although this one's a white and green, so I might have to take everything back. Might be really randomized. Darkness type energy. Vim brother. We got a lily pop, sneasel. We got a seal. And here we go. Right you reverse. Followed up by the babies. Trio GX right there. That is fantastic. Look at them all. Togepi, Kleffer, and Igglybuff. Everyone loves this card. Like, I don't know why. You guys in a full up form, alternate art, this one. You keep telling me to pull it. There you go. We did it. We got the card. Amazing though, Supreme Puff GX. What a name for an attack. I love the pink though. Okay, that's a good start to this box actually. Now we're gonna evolution. It's got a Charizard in the front too. Dare I say, is that hinting towards the good old Charizard Hollow? There's the code card. Four from the no, three from the back. Gee whiz, that was close. Swing it around and let's hope for the best. We're gonna revive Haunter Brock's Grit again. Magikarp, Ghastly, Sandshrew, Weedle, Nidoran, and then a Hollow Polyrath. That's a decent pull as well. Not quite a Charizard, but a Hollow is still a Hollow. That's still a good pull. Put you at the back. Second to last booster. Come on, let's kick it up a notch. I know that's probably asking for way too much right now, but I honestly believe we can do it. There's the code card. Hopefully you guys are getting good stuff from the codes, by the way. Only take one code at a time. We'll get a water type. Celio. Then we got Dealing, Golet, PewDiePie, Apom as well. We got an Onyx, Probopass Reverse, and a regular rare, Glowly. Okay, Unbroken Bonds. Is it even possible to get a Rainbow Rare Charizard? I don't even reckon. But let's try and do it. Swing it around. There is the final code out of our Sword and Shield really early collection boxes right here. War Turtle, Gloom, Haunter, get a Sandile, Meowth, Grubbin, Zamazenta is looking like it's the way to go. Boys, 
Zassian has not got the goods. So guys, a bit of a casual opening today, nothing insane, but you know what, it wasn't a poop opening either. We got a Marcham Holo right there, then we got a Poliwrath, so Evolutions is actually quite kind to us. Full Igon GX, good old tag trio with the babies, but that's it. I mean, four good pulls out of three boxes, you, at this point you're buying it for the newer stuff, I guess. So here we got the promo cards, the actual promos, promo number one, promo number two, and promo number three. Really love the promo artworks. Then we got the actual cards. So good old Score Bunny, Sobble, and another Sobble as well. We got Grookey, and another Grookey, and one more Score Bunny. Then the main attraction, I guess, are these bad boys right here. So we got Zamazenta, an absolute crowd favorite. Then the brand new one, Zacian right here. Which one do you guys like better? I'm really, really curious. I love them both, but if I had to pick, I reckon it's the artwork wise, maybe this one, but like. Ah, oh, gosh, they're both about the same. I need you guys' help. Demolish like button if you love these Sword and Shield openings. Hopefully, you guys do. Have a fantastic day. Stay subscribed because we've got way more of this stuff coming up. But most of all, gonna keep on gaming. Until next time, I'll see you then.